say, give them clothes to wear and they shall show you decency. Fill their stomachs with grains and they shall fill their minds with righteousness. And that's why you have to eat a decent meal and dress right for the weather when you're out in the wild. Huh? Is that not what that saying means? Oh, okay. So what does it mean? My master's a mighty and illuminated adeptus. She once told me that getting a vision is a sign that the gods are pleased with you. But I don't think I've done anything special. I really wish I could talk to that god and see what she thinks about it. Mm, Xiangling hasn't been, um, looking for strange ingredients lately, has she? She gave me a real fright last time. She said she was about to try some raw octopus from the Sea of Clouds. One of these days she'll give herself an upset stomach. Then what's she gonna do? Cause she definitely doesn't like taking Dr. Baiju's medicine. Anyway, I got Master to try and talk some sense into her too. Who knows what dangerous thing she'll be trying to eat next. <sighs> Chi Chi is my best friend. She forgets who I am sometimes, but I know she doesn't mean it. I just have to remind her to check her notebook, and she remembers me right away. I once asked Dr. Baiju in private if there's any way to cure her, and... Um... But it doesn't matter. I'll probably have to keep reminding her who I am for my whole life, but that's okay. Dr. Baiju's prescriptions are pretty effective. They're bitter, that's for sure. But they always say that about medicine. The bitter, the better. So, I get it. Huh? Too bitter for you? Don't worry, I've got some candied dates here. One of these after you finish your medicine will take the taste away. Ganyu always has a lot of work to do. I heard that one time, she was so tired she accidentally fell asleep on the grass. <sighs> I do worry about her, you know. Hmm, maybe. We could go do a surprise inspection. You know, check in and make sure she's taking care of herself. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I'll go get some of her favorite plants for her to eat. Kaching's a very thoughtful person, and she always does a good job of everything. She also makes sure to pay Master a visit at every festival. She's what you call a bastion of piety. Oh, uh, wait, maybe it's a paragon of propriety? Well, anyway, I think I can learn a lot from her. Now, Yunjin's really good at spear dancing, and her Li Yue opera performances are very popular. Master even takes me to go see them sometimes. You won't find an empty seat when she's on stage. But, um... Does anyone understand what she's singing about? Beidou's ship is amazing! If I hadn't promised Ganyu that I wouldn't go on board anymore, I know exactly where I'd set up my own little bed. <laughs> Shen Hu's been away from the human world for years and years, so it's no wonder that she's still adjusting to life in Liyue Harbor. I'd love to help Ganyu take care of her, but how do I ask her in a way that won't make her feel uncomfortable? Yenfei takes that huge legal codex everywhere, even when she comes to pay Master a visit on her days off. She's incredible. I don't know how she carries that heavy thing around all the time, and I can't imagine how much hard work it must be to read it. I grew up in the mountains, so the flowers, trees, plants, and animals are all my friends. Oh! Would you like to chat with the finches? I can take you to them, and I can also help translate for you. Come on, it'll be fun! But first, let's get some grains as a gift for them. There are adepti everywhere in Liyue. I've met loads of them. Auntie Cloud Retainer, Uncle Mountain Shaper, but Auntie Cloud Retainer's my favorite. She's given me all kinds of adepti gadgets, and taught me all about how to use them. I've learned so much from her, 